Hello, I'm John Duarte. I'm with Duarte Nursery, family-owned nursery operation here in Houston, California. Right now we're in one of our greenhouses at Duarte Nursery. And we're gonna take a little video tour of Duarte Nursery and how we produce grapevines today. The first step in grapevine production is grafting. Here we can see in grafting, we're cutting rootstocks with a V-cut at one end, and we're cutting scion with a V-cut at the bottom. The little short piece is the actual Cabernet or Chardonnay or Merlot or whichever grape varietal you want to grow and make wine from. The longer piece is a rootstock. So here you can see the ladies hand matching them by diameter and then taping them together with a parafilm tape. And that graft union then seals up and just like a broken arm heals, those two pieces of grape rootstock and scion will heal together with what's called a callus. Once they're done grafting, we put them in our callusing environment. In our callusing environment, we manage the temperature and the humidity very, very carefully. We set these bundles of freshly grafted vines upright in a hydroponic bath, and we callus them for two to three weeks. And in callusing, we'll get a little bit of root initiates at the bottom. We'll get a callus formation where the vines are healing together at the graft union, and we'll start to see some bud push at the top. So that is a calloused vine. From callusing, we then take them to the greenhouse. And in the greenhouse, the propagated calloused vines are then put into pots with an artificial soil. The soil is made up of rice hulls, peat moss, sometimes coconut husk, many different types of media components we've experimented with over the years and, and selected special blends that work for individual crops that we do. In the greenhouse, we'll continue to control the temperature and humidity and grow the vine so that they root out, they develop a nice, fully formed graft union. The, the tops grow into a nice field-ready amount of growth that we can send out to the vineyard. And then down at the bottom, we'll see the root development. Fill the pot with roots. This vine is within a week of being ready to go to the grower's field and be planted next to a grape stake, probably micro-irrigated, and within two or three years, it'll be producing varietal wine grapes for California winemakers to make wine out of. <laughs>